I think it's incredible that more and more people these days want to eat in a healthier way. And being healthy, we know, has been a hot topic for decades, magazines and on TV. And these days, most people, I think, are turning to social media as their go-to source for information on how to adopt healthier habits. I think social media is such an amazing tool, a way that we can connect with people all over the world, a way that we can share our knowledge and our insights with each other. I also feel like because there's so much information out there, it can be really confusing for a lot of people when it comes to their food choices because they're wondering, what can I eat? There just seems to be so much conflicting information. One source will tell you a certain food is good. Another source will tell you a certain food is bad. So in today's video, I was hoping we could chat a little bit about creating a healthy relationship with food. I was one of those kids that gave my parents grief over my food choices growing up. I feel like if it was up to me, I would have had burgers and french fries and cola all day every day. And I think a lot of days I did do that. But then at some point you kind of just grow up and you want to adopt a healthier way of eating. And that was about in my university days. So I started to do some research at that point. I had learned how to do research, but if I can be totally honest, I was most heavily influenced by different YouTube channels that I was following. And one of the problems I feel like with looking up information online is that every person's definition of what healthy is is a little bit different. So somebody might tell you, for example, don't bring junk food into the home, things like chips and chocolate, don't have grains, those aren't good for you, don't have fruits, they have sugars in them, or don't have certain vegetables because of GMOs. And I think it's easy to get caught up in being healthy, but sometimes, and for some people, it can get to be a little bit out of hand and it can lead to certain feelings of guilt and self-blame and this feeling like maybe we're not enough. We're not doing enough, we're not trying hard enough, we're not eating well enough, we don't have willpower enough. And I do think that the more we learn about food, the more we tend to think about it. And in some cases, for some people, we tend to overthink it. So we might have eaten a certain food in the past and not given ourselves a hard time for it, but now we might think something like, oh, that food, it's really unhealthy. I shouldn't have eaten that, what was I thinking? Maybe you'll even start to compensate in some way, feeling like you need to start a diet. And our intentions with this might be absolutely pure. I mean, we just wanna be the healthiest versions of ourselves that we can possibly be, but sometimes it can kind of create an unhealthy relationship with food and with exercise even. Remember that we choose to eat the foods that we do. We choose to exercise in the way that we do because we know it's good for us, we know it's healthy for us. But what is definitely not healthy mentally is constantly giving ourselves a hard time for the food choices that we make or for our activity or our lack thereof, or feeling like we're not perfect because realistically, I mean, no one is. So you might have heard of the Pickup Limes slogan, nourish the cells and the soul. Now I chose that motto for Pickup Limes very much consciously. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to shift our mindset away from feeling like it's only about being healthy for our bodies. So on the one hand, yes, it is very important to make sure that we're nourishing our cells, that we're eating foods that are wholesome, that we're getting in some physical activity, that we're taking part in self-care rituals and doing these things because it feels good, not because we feel we have to do it. But it's not just about nourishing the cells, it's also equally important to make sure that we're nourishing the soul. And what I mean by that is allowing ourselves to enjoy a certain treat food for no reason at all other than we just felt like it. We're not using that dessert or treat food as a reward or as a punishment. Or maybe enjoying a meal out with friends, even if it's not the healthiest food that we're ordering, but it's focusing on the fact that we're nourishing our soul by spending that quality time with friends over that meal and recognizing that these two are included in the whole concept of making healthy choices. So I hope that in Pickup Lime's videos in the past and currently, I kind of share this philosophy, this mindset of not giving ourselves too much of a hard time when it comes to our food choices. Like I know that my philosophy is, I know I eat well the majority of the time, so I am not gonna give myself a hard time at all for enjoying some treats or for cooking with a little bit of oil sometimes, for including some refined sugars in my dessert recipe sometimes, because it's more about finding balance, taking a step back and looking at the big picture. Now, I know that this topic that I've covered today it can be a difficult topic to cover because everybody's in such a different place when it comes to their relationship with food. So I hope that we shared it in this video today and that we'll share it in the comments section below in a way that's kind of supportive, welcoming, constructive, helpful. So 
thanks a lot for also being part of a community of people who believes in this food philosophy and mindset. I think it's so important to feel like we're comfortable and secure in our food choices. So thanks a lot for also enjoying this cup of tea with me. I think that's it for today. Pickup Limes signing off. We'll see you in the next video.